why don't embryos form in the IVF lab? This can cause major frustration and if you want to find out the answer, please watch this video. I'm Dr. Malpani. I'm an IVF specialist at Malpani Infertility Clinic and our website is www.drmalpani.com. One of the problems about IVF is all the myths and misconceptions and the mystique which surrounds IVF and this is especially true about what happens in the IVF lab because the patient sees the gynecologist who's the clinician who super ovulates you and gives you the injections and does the consultation and the follow-ups and perhaps the ultrasound scans and the egg collection so you have a relationship but you have no idea what happens in the IVF lab because that's like a sterile area where you're not allowed to go inside so you don't know what happens and you never get to see the embryologist or to talk to the embryologist and sometimes doctors will say oh great everything went very well we've got lots of eggs the sperms are fine I'm sure everything will be okay and then the next day after the egg collection the day of egg collection is called day zero and the next day is called day one they call up the patient and say look I'm sorry I've got bad news none of your eggs are fertilized we have no embryos at all and the patient is distraught and frustrated and doesn't know what's gone wrong or why and the problem is that this is the time when doctors lie to their patients. Often the reason for why nothing fertilizes is a problem in the lab. You have a bad embryologist, you have poor lab conditions, you don't have a 24 hour supply of electricity as a result of which the electricity goes off in the night and the temperature in the incubator drops and they don't have a UPS and the embryologist doesn't know this or he uses old culture medium or he uses poor quality culture medium or the culture medium gets contaminated or infected as a result of which it's the culture medium instead of culturing your embryos starts culturing bugs and bacteria and fungi which obviously kill the eggs and the embryos but the doctor doesn't tell you the truth when the embryos don't form in the lab it's often a lab problem 99 percent of the time either the embryologist was incompetent and there was an infection as a result of which the embryos died or the embryologist actually killed all your eggs by doing the ICSI procedure. ICSI is a very valuable procedure if it's done properly but it's very easy to do it clumsily and lots of embryologists are clumsy. They don't have the experience, they don't have the expertise, they put the sperm inside the egg and while putting the sperm inside the egg they kill the egg. They don't tell you the truth, they don't take any responsibility. And then the doctor says, well, look, I'm sorry, nothing fertilized, now what? And they blame you. Oh, your eggs weren't good enough. Oh, the eggs weren't mature. Oh, the sperm weren't good enough. Complete rubbish. But they don't want to take responsibility, they want to blame you. And then they say, you know what, don't worry. We'll put donor embryos back for you. Terrible advice. Not only do they lie to you, they hide the truth from you they then expect you to take someone else's embryos which means effectively you're doing an adoption now that's fine if you're mentally prepared for it embryo adoption is a great way of getting pregnant if that's what you choose you wanted to do but being forced to do it because none of your eggs fertilized because the IVF lab botched up is terrible you could have had a baby with your own eggs and own sperms but because the lab was so terrible and because they lied to you they're forcing you to use donor embryos now sometimes you're so upset and fed up and frustrated He's saying whatever doc just give me a baby I don't care whose eggs and sperms or embryos there I just want to get pregnant and that's what a lot of these clinics do they transfer donor embryos from some other couple to some other couple and they do it because hey we want you to get pregnant they actually have the cheek to charge extra for this kind of stuff and the trouble is you don't know where those donor embryos are coming from and what's even worse they actually take another woman's embryos without even telling her that they've taken her embryos so very unethical and this all this kind of practice is rampant and that's one of the reasons why IVF clinics don't have such a good reputation and that's why it's so important that you need to do your homework ask the right questions make sure you get the right answers it's easy to do this that's the good news you can go to our website at www.drmalpani.com we've got videos and images and over a thousand pages of information written by me for patients which patients can understand. So if you read all this, you'll know exactly what a good clinic is supposed to do. And ask your doctor questions before paying his fees. And if he doesn't answer them or he hides or stonewalls you, that's a red flag. Something's wrong. 
every good doctor will share information with their patients. They will give them photos of their embryos because we're proud of what we do in our labs. And if doctors refuse to do this, you should worry a lot. Have questions? Feel free to ask me. I offer a free second opinion on our website, which is www.drmalpani.com. We have a simple free second opinion form. Fill it up. I'll reply in 24 hours. And we look forward to helping you to have a baby.